$1,200 a piece for these things? That's insane. There's no way that this is cost effective. Okay, so if you're here, then you probably know that NVIDIA has just released their new RTX series graphics cards. And I guess they figured, well, the miners might possibly end up raising the prices down the road, so we'll just beat them to the punch. Yeah, these prices are crazy. The RTX 2070 starts at $599 for the Founders Edition, add another $200 for the 2080, and $400 on top of that for the 2080 Ti Founders Edition. So for $1,200, you can get a 2080 Ti. Oh, but Fred, I think I'll just pay an extra $80 for the NVLink bridge and get the 270 series, like I always do, and just run it in SLI. Well, you thought wrong, and I'll explain more in a minute. But if you want the best RTX card in SLI, it's gonna cost you $2,500 with the bridge, plus tax. So to get maximum performance out of that, and ensure you don't have any bottlenecks, you're looking at a budget of probably 6,000. Yeah, so we need the top of the line i9 or Threadripper, but fine, you're just using it for gaming, so we'll knock it down to an 8700K. You're gonna need a decent power supply, probably 128 gigs of RAM, but again, I'll be conservative and we'll knock it down to 64. And remember, we're going for maximum performance and no bottlenecks, and that's why these specs are so high. And let's be honest here with these sort of specs, you're gonna need to show it off and it needs to look good, so we'll throw in some custom cables, RGB strips and bands, and a beefy case to hold everything, because this will need to be liquid cool. Yeah, and this theoretical build, we wanna be able to overclock it, of course, and avoid thermal throttling, so these liquid cooling parts will probably run you one to two RAM, maybe on the lower side of that. Plus labor though, if you don't want to build it all yourself, and then you've got yourself one very, very overpriced machine. It's not necessary and it's not efficient to spend $2,500 on GPUs for gaming. Okay, so you'll just run SLI on the lower tier 70s like you've always done. Nope. Take a look at this. These are the 2070s and the 2080s. 2070s and the 2080s. Notice anything right about here? Yeah, no SLI slot. NVIDIA doesn't want to cannibalize their 2080 Ti cards with the 2070s, so you can kiss that idea goodbye. What do you guys think? Was that fair for NVIDIA? Tweet at me and let me know. So maybe the 2080s in SLI. Okay, well, maybe the 2080s. That's $1,680 plus tax. I'll give you that one. But I still can't see myself spending that kind of money Right now, for tech, that won't be fully utilized for years to come. And by then, hopefully, it, NVIDIA has done something about their prices, which are just ridiculous right now. There's a saying amongst each creators, the quality doesn't matter if they can hear you and you have good content. Which is true to an extent. The point I'm trying to make is now it's up to game developers to utilize this tech in a non-gimmicky way, and in a way that'll make players care about it. If you ask me if I want to pay a luxury tax so that I can see better shadows and reflections, no, I don't. I'm perfectly happy with my own 1080 in here. Even if I was building my PC today with the options and pricing available, I'd still go with the 1080. It's a great card, and I know the non-Founders Edition's 20 series cards will be cheaper, so I'll have to wait for the actual real-world benchmarks to see how well games perform and take advantage of them. This is starting to turn into a rant, I understand. I wanted to talk about what NVIDIA was doing with SLI and kind of got caught up in the prices because you only can run SLI now on their top tier cards, which is just gonna run you in your wallet. It's gonna be hurting. And I understand this sort of technology was crazy expensive to develop and manufacture, but I just hope that game developers don't get caught up on the graphics and remember the story and content are important too. If you were building your PC today, let me know in the comments which GPU you would choose, and not just of the 20 or 10 series or NVIDIA cards, and all the options. For more on improving your life with tech based technology, go ahead and hit that subscribe box down there, and I will see you next week.